Negating a conditional means you are negating the arrow itself. What that looks like is, let's say we have X arrow Y. To negate that statement, think of it as a statement, meaning it's in quotes. We don't say not X arrow, not Y. We're not negating the variables. That's the first common typical mistake people make, or they think, can I negate only one of them? Nope. You negate the arrows. So you're putting a slash through the entire thing. You're saying X does not necessarily require Y. Initially, we thought X required Y. To negate that, we're saying X doesn't require Y. Doesn't require it. So that means they could coexist, but they don't necessarily coexist. And the presence of X might allow for the possibility of Y, but it does not require that Y occurs. So diagrammed, it's X arrow with a slash through it, Y. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.